outcome. But game moves, with that being said, game number one, Dill and Delta Force starting off on small battlefield. All right, and I feel like as far as any neutral stages go, this is, again, it's a stage that's favoring both to the characters. A lot of room for those boxing opportunities. You're going to expect a lot of nares from both of these characters just to stay as get off me tool. And then the heavy conversions off of the platforms are positioned so well for converting any type of mid-stage scuffle to favorable ledge control. But this is exactly what I mean about this disadvantage. What a neutral but that does not matter. You're able to get that down and off. Link does not have the fastest up when it comes to vertical height in the game. You just give ample time to set that kind of thing up. And when you have to go to ledge against Rob, the thing is this, you can go for a lot of cheating reverse upbeats uh, back onto the stage, but you can get on Link's blind spot because Rob spikes with down air that is on his head. He doesn't have a hitbox above his head. Right. I also like how vertically Dill is opting to take this matchup because where Link technically has the tools to cover that space in up air, it's not that fast and stand alone, it's not that exciting of a move. A oh, yeah. lot of Link's value comes from his lateral control. Dill extremely aware of that. And the way that she's positioning herself allows her to find these reversals and find earlier stocks too, bringing herself to a 3-1 lead. The DI on that up air is not the best as well. Delta Force is just trying to get something going here, gets the hitbox extension on that up air, which is already so ridiculously active. Forward is able to take that stock off Dill, shaking her head. She's like, oh, I can't believe you let, took a single stock off me. But okay, now gonna be stuck at the ledge here, drop down, double jump, gyro, good stuff. That's the opening to make it back on. And, oh wow. It's that lateral play like I was warning you. Rod at 57 almost dying off of the simplest of conversions from Delta Force. That is how you know that this is a dangerous set. Mm -hmm. But good situational awareness, right? Just waiting through that retaliating boomerang, able to shield past it, and then continues with onslaught. There we go. Use the Nair defensively. I think a great option from Delta Force because Rob has so much opportunity to just do stuff. He didn't yeah. want the gyro. He didn't want it at all. He's like, oh, get that away from me. Ah, get that out of here. Yeah, just, oh my gosh. And tries to go for that bomb angle as well. Really good stuff there. Still needs a way to be able to make it back. She's got no fuel left, but she still has so much horizontal drift thanks to back Oh! And, yo. <laughs> the down tilt just to push a little bit. Can I get that bear off too? And then jumping right into the up smash, getting those back hits off. Delta Force is keeping it competitive, keeping it even. All right, yep, what's the yeah, option? Yeah. Up tilt. You up got there. caught. Yeah. At that point, there's nothing that you could have done. Yeah, no, nah, Dill had that one. Lock key and barrel. Oh, I, I feel like Delta's voice is like mash could have been like a little bit quicker as well, but also at 101%, especially somebody of Link's stature, there's not a lot that you could have done this position, especially with the immediate double jump up in. It carries you a little bit further alongside all those multi-hits. She had those kill confirms on lock. She had her damage on point. You know. Look how far away that down air was, too. Yep. <laughs> this is the beauty of... It was like Link's hand got hit, and that was enough. Oh, yeah. The thing is this, too. Typically speaking, most characters have to back away and sit and shield at this position. Because one of the biggest things that Link can do is he will reverse upbeat, and then he will try to send you all the way from over here and then back off stage, right? Because of just this massive, big spiral hitbox. But less, at the end of the day, the biggest thing that is vulnerable is Link's head. Link's head doesn't have a hitbox on it. He doesn't have a sword on his hat. Yeah, now, spin you know? attack has forever been one of those moves that just sort of just eat shit, honestly. <laughs> like, you can do silly things at the ledge, and Delta Force is definitely one of the prime proprietors of doing that silly yo, with that yo, move. But speaking of silly, you're telling me this connected? Ah! It's his hand! I'm telling you, it's Link's hand! That is that is ridiculous. Anyways, game number two. We got another platform for game two. It's regular battlefield. Oh, yeah. And honestly, I think this is a very good decision from Delta Force. Mm -hmm. It gives more of that verticality that he's trying to play around. He'll actually have options now because he can plant himself accordingly if he gets a chance wow. to play the game. If Dill has her way, she's not having any of it, But though. that's what happens when he takes so long to get back onto the stage. Rob is just able to get out there with side B. Dill able to take out that first stock so quickly. She is playing good. She's playing solid. She's getting those stocks off early. But that's those juggles that Link excels at. Up till something to the platform is so dangerous. 
the fact that there is that additional platform is going to force Dill's maneuverability in a way where Link has the tools to be able to pressure now. Boomerang, much more threatening. Hell, Bomb in conjunction with Arrow all of a sudden covers a lot more active space and there's just defensive coverage from the platforms as well, giving well, plenty of opportunity. How Delta Flake tried to cover to the left with the bomb, tried to cover right with up in, but Link is too slow. That time around, though, getting that drift beautifully, getting that up in, getting that stock off 53%, one rising back in, and you can get this evened up. Good catch off the arm rotor. And too early on the down here gives Delta Force another opportunity to bring things back here. Oh, yeah. Just going back on, getting that F tilt, incredible spacing as well. But uh, the thing is, you have to go for the unconventional ledge grabbing because Rob goes over the ledge so often, you're just able to circumvent oh, whatever Link is setting up. I loved that. Utilizing the bomb recovery to adjust your angles, try to give yourself some extra time while Dill is on the offensive. She's not letting up though. Forward tilt manages to set Delta Force the last stop. But he goes out there, he goes up there. Honestly, <laughs> cute idea. It didn't kill, but hey, damage is damage at the end of the day. Forward tilt is too slow of a button to catch. I saw what Delta Force is going for, but Dill, a bit too wise to these tricks. Okay, right now just gonna be tossing that bomb out there. Dill trying to make it back on, just up here. He's not gonna be able to get through though. Yeah, she's straight up brawling with the bomb. Okay, tries to get that back hit off. She does not actually find it. Setting up a tech chase here, down tilt through the tech in place, and then the dash attack to be able to cover that tech roll in. Her option coverage is on point, and you see she just keeps avoiding the ledge over and over. Not able to connect anything with forward air. Delta Force struggling to find something, but gets buried. Popped up with up tilt, back into the up air, and not able to escape. Dill takes it too. Oh. We began with up tilt up air. We finished with up tilt up air. Yep. Um, I don't know. That just felt like it was consistently her throughout the entire game. Her advantage state, her neutral, her ability to actually find kills. And then also the biggest thing that is she invalidated Rob's, or, uh, excuse me, Link's biggest win condition, which is ledge trapping. Bomb, boomerang at the ledge. None of that matters if you're coming back on with double jump gyros, if you're coming back on and trying to land high. You know, a note that you were consistently highlighting throughout the set that I think Dill really took full advantage of throughout both games was the speed that mm -hmm. Link brings to the table. I think tool-wise, on paper, Link and Rob are fairly similar, but the fact that Rob is able to do so at a more average speed just completely allowed Dill oh, yeah. to just snowball past Delta Force. Even though Delta Force wasn't making that bad of decisions, it was the fact that Dill was able to keep up with mm -hmm. them and had the buttons to accommodate her playstyle. This position to be in against Rob is so bad. Because when you get knocked this close, first of all, there's nothing that you can do to actually like mash out disadvantage. What are you gonna do? Press like a neutral here? What are what is going through your mind? The point is I don't want to double jump so I don't get stuck off stage without a double jump. Okay. I don't want to air dodge because that would set me up for the down air. If I mash out of disadvantage, I might also get set up for the down air if she opts to go for the non-committal way to get back onto the stage. Delta Force kind of ended up pressing nothing here. You could have air dodged, you could have, yes, but can you make it back onto the stage after the air dodge like that? The answer, probably not. No, it's such a tough situation to be in because you have to consider the fact that Rob can position itself to be wherever at any point and yep. not be bereft of resources so long as you have the decision to like maintain your fuel. Fuel a very forgiving resource in the grand scheme of things and you don't really need gyro to cover that space. Rob has larger buttons that allow you to accommodate that kind of movement. And Delta Force didn't really get to move around that swiftly. Saw a little bit of the bomb play, which was nice while it was there, but it was few and far between. Yeah, and uh, with that being said, before we do jump into the next set, everybody, quick little reminder, if you are in New York, if you are in Tri-State, go to Xeno Saga um, 154. That's right, I got it this time, baby. Xeno Saga, no, wait, what is it? What, what, what was it? 44. So let me give you a little tip. When you see the L, the X before the L means it's the 10 before 50, which I'm hoping they've taught you basic math so far. That's 40. Likewise, the I before the V, that's one minus five, which again, I'm hoping they've taught you the basic math for that is four. And 40 plus four is what, Dara? 44. Is this is all the speaker? <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me a whole audience? <laughs> Live and direct, kid. You're telling me the whole damn venue just heard me not know about Roman numerals? I'll teach you another time, don't worry. I 
hate it. I hate it. I think I actually hate it. Uh. MSI, fall deals, save money, buy laptops. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Anyways. I didn't know this was broadcast on the speakers. I, I just, dude, I'm issue. sweating. My, my face got flushed. Skill I was issue. flushed. Skill issue. Yeah. Okay. Know how to count numbers next time. Next set, uh, Show and Swartz gonna be going at it. All right, so Show, you know Show, fantastic Meta Knight, phenomenal Meta Knight. I believe he moved here from California a couple of months ago. If I'm not All mistaken. All right, Cali breeds those good, good when it comes to the Meta Knight players. That's right. So many talented Meta Knights from the, the West Coast. Bringing one in, we imported one. That's a good way to learn a matchup. Absolutely. But I have a question. Does Meta Knight do anything?